Ganga Basin is one of the most densely populated regions of the world with a population density of about 520 persons per square kilometer. This in turn has led to overburdening of traditional railways and roadways, resulting in massive traffic congestions causing immense environmental hazard. Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi has realized this bottleneck and envisioned the role of waterways utilizing vast river network of the country for the movement of cargo and passengers that would connect the hinterland for better paced economic growth. He embarked on developing 111 waterways across the length and breadth of the country and entrusted the Inland Waterways Authority of India under the Ministry of Ports, Shipping and Waterways Government of India to make the rivers navigable for cargo and passenger movement. Waterways are environment friendly and reduce carbon footprint on one hand while it is less cumbersome, economical and have the ability to move oversized and overweight cargo smoothly. Inland Waterways Authority of India launched Jalamarg Vikas project in collaboration with World Bank prioritizing development of 1390 km long National Waterway 1 on River Ganga connecting holy city Varanasi with Haldia and Kolkata ports further linking it to the northeastern states via Indo-Bangladesh protocol route and waterway 2 and 16 on rivers Brahmaputra and Barak. National Waterway 1 connects the states of West Bengal, Jharkhand, Bihar and Uttar Pradesh and serves major cities and industrial corridors Haldia, Kolkata, Bhagalpur, Munger, Patna, Ghazipur, Varanasi and Prayagraj. Jalmarg Vikas project is aimed at transshipment of bulk and heavy industrial cargo. Honorable Prime Minister perceived the potential of the small businesses, farmers, local trading communities and decided to expand the scope of Jalmarg Vikas project into Jalmarg Vikas project 2 dedicated to the small and marginal farmers, fishery units, unorganized agri-production units, florists, artisans and small traders along with common people of the hinterland. Inland Waterways Authority of India is constructing more than 60 community jetties on National Waterways 1 for the benefit of around 7.5 crore people living on the banks of River Ganga in the states of Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Jharkhand and West Bengal. Community jetties are designed to create easy, cheaper and less cumbersome transportation link with the nearest markets enabling hassle-free movement of local products which will give huge boost to the local economy by enhancing the scope of business resulting in overall growth of the region that would also generate massive employment opportunities. Community jetties are classified into three main categories concrete floating jetty, HDPE floating jetty and floating steel pontoon jetty. All these jetties would have facilities like ramps, shaded waiting area, public amenities, ticket counter, admin room, solar lights, etc. These community jetties are designed specifically as per the requirement of the locals. This design is approved by the IIT Kharagpur. The process of assembling, fabrication and installation of jetties is simple starting with manufacturing of modular high-density polyethylene cubes followed by creating gangway with the help of GI frames and decking is done by aluminium sheets. The 15 meter into 4.5 meter T-shaped jetty is covered by a tensile canopy to create a shaded roof. These jetties are remarkably agile, could be pulled by the speed boats to transfer and install at designated places in very short time. Three community jetties have already been constructed in Ravidas Ghat and Kaithi Varanasi and Ghazipur Steamer Ghat, wherein 15 more jetties in Rajghat, Ramnagar, Balua Ghat and Samne Ghat in Varanasi district and Dungarpur, Zamania, Chauchakpur, Saidapur, Bharoli, Majua, Kansapur and Shivpur in the Varanasi Balia stretch of NW1 are being installed. The 250 km long Varanasi Balia stretch will have 15 community jetties 
which are expected to infuse a fresh lease of economic activity in that region. It is expected agricultural products, flowers, fish, grains and other such local goods will be easier to reach the nearby markets. Community jetties will also help in developing local tourism opportunities, especially in places like Varanasi, which has regular influx of tourists throughout the year. This belt has immense possibilities in ecotourism, which will be a major attraction for the foreign tourists. Similarly, river tourism will also get huge boost. Community jetties are aimed at bringing smile and cheers on the faces of local community small traders, small farmers and common people living on the banks of river Ganga.